What's up YouTube? And I am here today with a shoe review. I am reviewing the Foley Spikes 100 Christian Louboutin. They are gorgeous, by the way. And we're a couple things like price, sizing, things to do to make them comfortable, and have a thorough look at what's in the box and the shoe itself. So the first thing I will show you is the box itself. It comes with the standard Christian Louboutin box here. And here on the front, you have all the uh, stickers. You have the, the name of the shoe, the Foley Spikes 100. This is the size. I have a 40.5, and I'll go over sizing in a minute. And these are, I guess this is something Neiman Marcus put there. Uh, this is the price, which is $1,295. And this is the Neiman Marcus logo at the top of the sticker, uh, barcodes, and yada, yada, yada. So we'll go over everything right now. And a 40.5 equals a 10 and a half. I am not a 10 and a half in shoe, so let's go over sizing. So the shoe runs small. All Christian Louboutin shoes weren't small. I don't know one person that gets them true to size. Even if you have a narrow foot, people tend to go up a half size. For a narrow foot, I have a regular foot. I don't have a super wide foot or fat feet or anything like that, but I still have to go up one and a half sizes more than what I wear in other high heels. So keep that in mind. I have to go up one and a half sizes for regular size, regular feet. You know, I don't have wide feet and all that kind of stuff. I just have regular feet. So um, just before I go too deep into sizing, I'm going to go ahead and show you what's in the box. I'll, I'll double back to sizing in just a minute here. So this is the regular box. You take the box off. And you have this little dust baggie and inside this bag, I don't want to open it up because the screws are really, really tiny and I already lost one. So they're real tiny screws on the inside and extra spikes. You need the extra spikes in case the spikes and the screws that come in this bag, you need those just in case one falls off. I've never had that happen, but I'm saving them for a rainy day fund. You hear me? So you would, I guess, take that to a perk professional shoe repair I wouldn't try to repair it myself because I'm not handy and I wouldn't know what the heck I'm doing so keep those no matter what even if you never have to use them I these are good quality shoe and I doubt if spikes will just fall off and stuff like that you won't have that happen so we have two dust covers just standard nothing fancy and the reason why there are two dust covers is because these shoes have spikes from the tippy toe of the tiptoe to the back of the heel. They're covered in spikes. And if you put them in, you're traveling and you want to throw them in a bag or something, take them outside of this box, and you want to put them in the dust, dust cover, you don't want to put them in the same dust cover because the spikes will scratch the other shoe. So you don't want to, you know, mess up your shoe. So they do give two dust covers, which is great. Uh, when I tried mine on, it only had one dust cover. And I told the, you know, I was like, uh, excuse me, sir. You know, I'm missing a dust cover. I'm going to need you to go find my other one. And he was really nice about it. So he went and got me another dust cover. Okay, so this is the shoe, y'all. This is the shoe. This is the shoe. This is the shoe. And they are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. As the box stated, this is a 100 millimeter, millimeter heel. Nothing fancy. Christian Louboutin has some 130 millimeter. I've even seen 130, 120 and 130 millimeter. Not me. I cannot walk in heels that high. And these shoes are very, very uncomfortable. They hurt like heck five minutes after being in these you want to just cry because they they hurt so bad so things i do to make them a little bit more comfortable is well first i protect them you can see i wore these once for my birthday so i got the shoe in july 2016 i didn't wear them until april 2017 my birthday so I had this shoe for months and months and months before I even wore them. But before I put them to concrete and walked around in them outside, I protected them. And you can be, you cannot see the clear film on here. But if you step outside 
on concrete without this protecting on here your red is gonna scrape off and the whole point of you buying this beautiful shoe is the beautiful red so come on let's be honest we spent a lot of money for this beautiful red so so please protect it whatever you have to do to put i'll link the description to the product that i use and i also have a video of a tutorial on how to apply it and you know things like that every pa i own four pairs of christian louboutins every single pair is protected not one pair of my shoes have one scratch on it because of this product and um i have a new pair that i wear all the time to every event that's my go-to pair because it's nude it matches everything you can dress down with it you can dress up with it and I've worn that pair of shoes maybe like 10 times, not one single scratch on the bottom. So this product is good and it really, 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 really works. If you're going to spend $1,300, that's the price of this shoe, $1,300 before taxes. So if you're going to spend that much on a shoe, spend $30 on some protectives for it. And so that's what I do for that. And I also have a shoe stretcher. You can go, to, if you purchase your shoe from Neiman Marcus, you can take your shoe, shoe to Neiman Marcus and they have a shoe stretching machine there. I'm not sure if all locations do, but I know the one in Atlanta and Lenox Mall does. So they put it on the shoe stretching machine. You leave it for about an hour. The representative will tell you when you come back and get it. And it stretches your shoe. It adds some extra, it adds some extra width here in the toe box. You see this toe box? Only one of my fingers can fit in this toe box. So let's be real. Your toes are going to stop like up here on the shoe. So you need some extra width to help to help you, you know, your toes not be balled up like this. <laughs> so shoe stretching is very important. If you don't have a Neiman Marcus or if you didn't purchase these from Neiman Marcus, go to a shoe cobbler or a professional shoe repair place. They should have a shoe stretcher um, and make sure they're professional. Make sure... They know what they're doing and how to handle these babies. You know, you don't want to leave your shoes in the wrong hands. So that's another thing. Shoe stretching, protect it, and you can also purchase a high heel shoe stretcher on Amazon. I will link the one that I use. What I typically do is they're universal. So if you buy one, you can stretch the left and the right shoe. So it doesn't matter. I bought one to begin with, and I'm going to order another one simply because it's so helpful. I leave it in for about a day or two on each shoe and by the time it's time for me to wear them my feet slips right in it slips right in and you can stretch it as much as you like a little as little as you like having a shoe stretcher at home you know you have that that flexibility and these shoes the leather is so thick this is this is not the same leather as the so case the leather on the so case and the other patent leather shoes without spikes are is a little bit thinner it's not real real thin but it's a little thinner this leather is tough it barely moves i have a hard time putting my shoe stretcher in because it doesn't expand as easy as the other patent leather pumps i have so the leather is really thick i'm saying all that to say this it will like once you stretch it it'll go back to its natural form trust and believe i've stretched this shoe for sometimes maybe weeks at a time and you know once i wear it and leave it in the closet without your shoe stretcher it's back to this narrow shoe that i can't fit and can't walk in for two seconds so you want to do things that make your that makes your shoe comfortable and i also buy these high heel uh inserts from dr shows you know stick them in there um it's two of them stuck together but stick them in there it keep it releases the pressure off the ball of your foot because it has a little massage thing and it uh it also has a a little rise in it for the for the uh, ball and the heel of your feet. So it's really comfortable. That's why you wanna go up in size a little bit because you wanna leave a little room for, you you know, your cushions and you wanna leave it up room for, you know, for you to be comfortable in your shoe. These shoes are very uncomfortable. Any review you watch about uh, any pair of Christian Louboutins, they're gonna tell you that they're very un uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. So those are three things that I do. I do the protecting, the stretching, and I also put inserts in. That's how I try to remain comfortable. So we talked about sizing, we talked about pricing, we talked about things I do to make them comfortable. Uh, we, we opened up the box, we saw what everything looks like.
these are a very wonderful pair of shoes. This is the this is my most favorite pair that I own, and that's why I've only worn it once because I think they're really, really special, and I only bring them out for special occasions, i.e., my birthday. So, you know, if you if you're looking for this style shoe, I'm not sure if they have this exact style of shoe. Like I said, I got them in July of 2016 and didn't wear them until April of 2017. So almost a whole year went by before I even touched these shoes. But they do have this style in different colors. He's always coming out with different flavors, this, different sauces. So, you know, whatever you feel like doing, honey, get these shoes. They are lovely. And the great thing about them is 100 millimeters still look sexy. Look how sexy the length of this heel is. You don't have to do 5-inch heels, 10-inch heels to look to look fine in. They're still very, very sexy. So I'm going to show you a closer up of the shoe, and I'm going to rotate it really, really slow so that you can see. I have to get it to focus first. Okay. Oh, look at this, y'all. Oh, look at this. It has a black heel tap. Just look. Just look at this. Just look. Ugh. Keeps on focusing. Oh, just look at it. Oh, look how sexy it is. Not one scratch on my shoes, y'all. Because I don't play that mess. I protect all my shoes. And compared to the Socates, the dip isn't as high. So you're not sitting up as high. I cannot wear Socates for, I don't own one pair of Socates. I get other styles that mimic Socates. But the the dip in this, I forgot what it's called. It's a name to it. But the dip in this isn't as tall as the Socates making them a little bit more comfortable. So if y'all are thinking about this shoe, I hope I have sold y'all on it because they're great. They are awesome. They're very uncomfortable. So just brace yourself for that. And like I said, if you have a narrow foot, you're maybe good with a half a size up. I mean, that's a real narrow foot. That means your foot is so skinny, you have to get like a slim size shoe. I don't even know if they make slim size shoes, but if you have a regular size foot, at least start at a whole size up or maybe a hole and a half. I mean, seriously, because you're going to put cushions in it, right? I mean, you need, to, you need that extra wiggle room and I get a one and a half size up and I don't have any slippage. Like my heel isn't flapping on the back of my foot or anything like that. So it works out perfect for me. Find what works for you and just let me know. Let's chat about it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm new to this YouTube thing, but y'all will be seeing my face. Look at it. Look at it. Y'all will be seeing my face. Bye, YouTube. <laughs>